Hey guys, it's Dan here. I want to introduce you guys to my new 2021 Honda Africa Twin. I've read a lot about this bike ever since they redesigned it for the 2020 year. I uh, was really interested. It was either this or the T7, the Yamaha T7. And I don't know if you guys know this, but right now it is hard to get some of these bikes. I mean, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago I went to Bass Pro Shops and the guy was like, look, you gotta be on a wait list. It's gonna take months to even get boats. So I knew that these manufacturers just were, you know, they could not keep up with the demand right now because of COVID and everything that happened. So anyway, got an email saying, hey, look, we'll take your trade, you know. We have, I have a 2020 uh, CRF rally or hat. <clears throat> so I knew I could get good money for my trade, so I went in and did it. Uh, this here is my eighth bike. First bike was a Yamaha R1 of 2007. I rode it, did a lot of trips on it, man. Did a lot of trips, but I think my longest trip was somewhere into Tennessee, and I had outfitted with bags, man, like toolboxes, and it was huge. It was, a, I looked like a sail going down the road. It was, it was so much junk on it. But then I said, I got an upgrade, so I got a GL1500, rode it all over. I mean, I did a lot of riding on it. I did a lot of moto camping, you know. It was a great bike for me. Uh, second bike when we moved over to Texas was a Kawasaki Concourse uh, 14. That was a good bike. It was just really high. I, I, the last time I really rode it and took it serious, I went out to the Twisted Sister in the summer, which was not a good idea, guys. It's so hot. Uh, anyway, the next bike after that was a Suzuki uh, Bergman 650 scooter uh, executive model. Then I got another Gold Wing, a GL1800. GL it's 2003. Rode it for a little while. Then I had a Yamaha FZ1, I think 2009. And then I uh, got the CRF250 all rally because I ready, was ready to do some off roading, you know. Uh, and I've lived in the Austin, Texas area. I can't, guys, I can't tell you how many people I've seen, you know, lay their street bikes down, you know. You can't go out there and be street rosses, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's too dangerous. So I say, you know, I wanted to get into the dirt. So I got the rally. Well, uh, like I say, dealers reached out and said they'd give me a good price on my trade. So here we are, <clears throat> bike number eight. So I hope I can keep this one for around for a while because, you know, as you guys know, you know, when it doesn't grow on trees, stuff is not uh, free. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys uh, <clears throat> get to enjoy some of my new videos that I'll have with this Honda Africa Twin. The exhaust sounds pretty good from the factory. I'll give it that. Um, I appreciate the Apple CarPlay being able to have my uh, GPS up. Man, that, that's that been real nice. So, so far, it rides super smooth, you know. I feel like the handling is way better than my Concourse, which was a sport tour bike. But, you know, it also handle these bumps, you know. Uh, which on these back roads in Texas that are half gravel, dirt, slash asphalt, sometimes it can get a little tough. So, you know, I'm really hoping to knock out some good motor trips with this bike. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And y'all have a good one. Party hard.